the LEDs look funny on video because the video frequency is synchronizing with the yellow LEDs. So if you notice, a couple of the LEDs look orange, and in fact, in real life, they all look orange. They are supposed to simulate an incandescent bulb, so they get brighter and dimmer on a profile, and with the camera picking them up on a certain frequency, it just shows the actual base yellow color. So right here, we're running Adventure. And I will stop it. And I will set the address to 1000 octal. Always forget the switches aren't supposed to go up, but with this kit, it showed the switches up. So that's 1000 octal, and I will put in uh, an instruction, which is a 7. One, I will deposit that. There we go. And then I will do a fifty two hundred. And I will deposit that. Now I'm going to go back to Octal 1000. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the single step on. And I'm going to tell it to start. And you'll see there's a 1 in the accumulator. And when I tell it to continue, and you'll see it went to a 2, 3, 4. And you can see the instruction. That's a math instruction, which is actually the shift. And that's a jump instruction, which is jumping to the loop. So that 7001 we did was just an increment. I'm sorry, I said shift, but that's not right. It's an increment. So we're just adding one to the accumulator all the time. And then the 5200 was a jump back to the increment instruction. So you can see it tracking like that. And if we turn the single step off and tell it to continue, it's much too fast to see. And again, you can't really get the full effect of what the lights look like on a video. It looks a lot different in real life. Anyway, pretty cool. Um, odd, some oddities about the machine. The, you know, one is down and zero is up. So that you might have noticed that. That's interesting. These are some bank select switching for uh, data and instructions. The machine used bank switching because it's got a very small memory range by default, 4K. And so it has to actually switch between banks to get up to 32K. Those 12-bit words, not bytes, so it's 32K words. And uh, this is all for the data or the address if we're going to load. So one thing other that's interesting is in all the documentation, this is bit 0 and this is bit 11. So that's kind of opposite of how we do it now. And you might have noticed I was using octal. It's because when you're using 12 bits, octal works out really nice because it's three bits per digit. And you might notice the digits are coded white and brown. So the white ones are the first octal digit to the right. That's the second, third, and fourth. So that's your 12 bits right there. And then these all do controls. That's uh, start, load address, deposit. On the original kit, you pushed down to get the deposit, but on the real device, you have to push up. And uh, I did make the modification to do that. And then uh, examine, you can examine memory, you can continue, you can stop, and you can do a couple of single steps. Because this is really a simulator, it doesn't single step the cycles, but that switch is used to send commands back to the simulator from the front panel. Uh, you can also 
actually get to it from a terminal. In this particular case, I'm SSH'd into the simulator running Adventure. And of course, it's not running now because I've interrupted it with my own program. But uh, that's what I was running before we started. Anyway, pretty cool kit. The red LED that you can kind of see back there blinking is from the Raspberry Pi. It really needs to be blacked out, but I'm fearful of taking the case apart again, so I'm probably just going to live with that. Um, every time I take the case off, I'm worried I'm going to ding that acrylic panel, which is really pretty. And I did manage to ding it somewhere. I won't say where because I made a pretty nice repair on it, and I'm guessing you can't tell where it is. So. Uh, anyway, quick demo, finger included, so this won't be publishable, but uh, in case you're interested.